Descendant. Using the Ancestor's data, the Guide claims to have discovered a zone where an Ironheart has been excavated. After undergoing emergency restoration protocols at that location, the Guide should be able to track the Ironheart. The problem is, the Ironheart excavation site is near a Vulgus munitions factory. It's a weapons production site where Cyborg Vulgus, the Legion of Immortality, are manufactured. Sharon and the Colon Special Forces along with Jeremy have been deployed there as the front line, and a bridgehead has been secured. I've assigned you to this operation as well. Sharon has exceptional infiltration skills, but I need someone who can lead the battle. Your mission is to infiltrate the Ironheart excavation site and restore the Guide's system. I still have my doubts about the Guide. Even for this operation, I'm sending you into the Lion's Den on the strength of her words. But, after witnessing the Intercept battle, I've made up my mind. We must find the Ironheart and close the Dimensional Wall as soon as possible. Failure to do so would leave the remnants of humankind to be trampled by the Colossi, even if we win the war against the Vulgus. So, I have decided to put my trust in the strategic value of the Guide. For now. Descendant, I leave this operation in your hands. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. <laughs> Modules will make you stronger. Welcome to the Modules Lab. Keep your questions brief. You're here. Welcome to the Vulgus Munitions Factory. You've made quite the impression at Kingston. So much so, I was tempted to recruit you for Colon. But then again, the enemy isn't exactly a pushover. However, now that we have the Guide as a strategic asset, I'm sure the trajectory of this war will change drastically. Shall we get started? Based on the coordinates provided by the Guide, the Ironheart excavation site is near the enemy's industrial zone. Unfortunately, the exact location needs to be confirmed in person. The coordinates are based on data from the time of the Ancestors, and there's a high probability that the topography today will look a little different. I'll do recon around the industrial zone. 
While I'm doing that, your mission is to create a diversion to draw the enemy's eyes away from me. Even though I have active camouflage, things will be much easier if you can hold the enemy's attention. I'll tell Jeremy to stay behind and provide operational support. Jeremy seems to be unable to link with the guide, so he won't be much use in finding the excavation site. He'll be better deployed using his RK teleportation abilities as support for your diversion operation. Let's get moving. We need to restore the guide system as soon as possible. What, me? Support? Oh, for crying out loud. Get to the point. Guide, guide, guide. That's all everybody talks about these days. Since when did the higher ups at Albion conduct operations based on the word of a spirit? Not to mention, excluding an excellent descendant like myself from this operation, everything's clearly going very well. Hey, you think it's funny I can't link with the guide? All right then, let's consider which descendants aren't able to link with the guide right now. Let's see. It's only me and Alpha, yes? Looks to me like the commander of Albion and the strongest descendant are the only ones who are still sane. If I were you, I'd think carefully about why you've been designated as a bait. And I'm going to do things my way. Don't even think about tagging along. Huh. Do you really think you can even attempt to follow me? With my RK abilities? Shall we race? You've been ambushed. Or did you let it happen? As a feint, it worked well. But you mustn't let your guard down. Those bogus cyborgs have had quite a few upgrades recently. You may suddenly encounter powerful units that aren't in our database. Definitely in Vulgus occupied territory. There's no end to them. This High level Vulgus closing in. We confirm it's a new Kyper enhanced barrier. the one we're after. Make a note in the operation log, number 17. Thanks to the enemies being drawn your way, infiltration is going smoothly. Good job. The communications deception transmitter at the Vulgus base is operational. Descendant, you need to protect the transmitter while it is operating. If the diversion works, we can detain a number of enemies here.
Multiple Vulgus are closing in on the trans there. There is a high probability that this is the result of a communications diversion. Continue to engage them and stall for time as long as possible. is closing in. Likely lured by our communications diversion. Target achieved. Mission accomplished, Descendant. Mission request from Colon Special Forces Agent number 17. Objective, secure a Volgus sample. We need a Volgus sample to study the recent technological improvements to Legion of Immortality units. This mission is also part of the diversion package.
reloading. Sample secured. The Volgas seem to believe our actions are a simple offensive mission. The feint is working. Receiving info on Mark. Position of Volgus power plant confirmed. Mission request. Destruction of generators as a faint attack. I heard Captain Harris let you in on a fun trick. Certain legion of immortality units have parts that can act as pieces. We can use those. I'm loading. Unstable energy flow detected. Probability of fuse parts high. High-level Volvis closing in. Request combat engagement. All generators disabled. Mission relay terminated. I'm transmitting to all Allied forces deployed to this operation. We have an urgent development, requesting backup. Number 17 has received details. All units are to head to the mining outpost.
Number 17, Colon Special Forces, at your service. Descendant, we have an urgent report on Sharon. Her current position is near the Volgus Munitions Factory. Thanks to her diversionary tactics, she was able to reach the target safely, but the Volgus have appeared. This is the sit rep recorded by Sharon's Aceev. Operating Arctic Tracking Matrix. Type of retrospective active camouflage detected. Probability of zone infiltration high. Iron Heart Excavation Site Status. Quarantine at the highest level of security. Terminate the descendant on site. Terminate. Terminate. This cyborg Volgus, Edelic, is a commando level model specializing in defense missions. It's armed with arcade tracking functions. And it seems the Volgus already know about the Iron Heart Excavation Site. I was told that the Ancestor's data was tightly guarded at Kingston. If the Volgus have gained access to it, however, then this rigorous level of security makes sense. For the moment, Sharon has requested an attack on the repository's core facility to lure the Volgus commander. Once the Volgus have vacated the factory, she intends to try and infiltrate it again. Descendant, you and Jeremy are to launch an attack on the repository. Descendant, I am at a loss for words. The Ancestor's data that the Vulgus obtained in Kingston was formatted in such a way that it could not be fully viewed until all of the data packets were combined. The Vulgus managed to transmit around 90% of the data. Defeating their commander prevented them from transmitting the remaining 10%. But they were able to reconstruct the missing 10% themselves and read all of the data. How was that possible? I need to analyze this. Descendant, you need to continue your search for the Arnhart excavation site. If the Volgus enter it first, they may destroy the entire site after they find what they want. We must hurry. How pathetic. A full operation for such a minor target? Guess the Colon Special Forces aren't that special after all. I've sent you a more appropriate mark, so you can show me what you can really do with those highfalutin skills of yours. Get it together, come on! Sending info on Mark. Target, Volgus Kuiper storage tanks. Descendant, be advised. The storage tanks should not be detonated. The key objective is to disarm security and seize the Kuiper pack stored within. Volgus used the rare metal Kuiper in a different way from us. Specifically, the way they process it causes massive contamination and contributes to the destruction of the environment in Icarus. Research to restore the environment is underway. To help this, you need to seize the Kuiper from the Volgus. And if you can keep their commander occupied, better.
Ascendant, this place is a Kuiper mine that has been taken over by the Volus. The Volus's Kuiper mining methods are extremely aggressive and lead to devastating contamination. The ores we seize from them are unusable, so they must be destroyed. contains the Kuiper collected by the enemy. Opening it will reveal the contaminated Kuiper. Kuiper disassembler operational. Please destroy as much of the bogus Kuiper as possible. Accomplished, descendant. High value target confirmed. Facility, Volgus Kuiper Refinery. Descendant, the Kuiper Refinery is a vital resource facility for the Volgans. However, it is heavily armored. Total destruction is unfeasible. Use the enemy's fuses to disable the generator. That will bring the refinery to a halt.
bogus carrying fuse parts identified. Wait, our surveillance equipment is picking up enemy comm signals. Arcade tracking matrix operational. Descendant detected in the area of the Kuiper refinery. Guardian unit Tara. Highly suitable for facility defense combat. Deployment ready. Damn. Looks like they're just sending one of their underlings. I was hoping the commander would show up. Application confirmed. One generator remaining. Descendant a high level Vulgus is heading toward the refinery. It's likely to be Carl. This is a dangerous focus. It will be best to eliminate. shake off their tracking. I'm scouting for intel around the factory. I've relayed the coordinates of the temporary outpost, requesting all units to regroup at the designated location. Officially beginning infiltration operation. It'll be fine for a while, all right? I'm alive, thanks to you. And you even found time to attack the Vulgus Kuiper facility. I've really got to hand it to you. Oh yeah, how did I manage to get the slip on Ederlick? He retreated as soon as the battle at the mining site was over and headed toward a facility. It looked like he'd planned to do so from the beginning. 
I wondered what he was up to, but he actually did us a favor in the end. I think the Ironheart excavation site is underneath that facility. A pretty hastily built structure? Check. Multiple security devices guarding the entrance? Check. Commander level Vulgus disappearing inside? You can see how it all adds up, right? I need to assign missions to all operatives to shut down the facility's multiple security devices. It'll require specific procedures, but I've had experience in dismantling many of these types of devices. Let's move. We need to get in there before the Vulgus can do anything to the excavation site. I have to admit, not even my RK can penetrate the quantum barrier of these security devices. Those rust buckets have put some thought into this. Operation status, jammer installation complete. Using the jammer to neutralize the distress signal sent by Ederlich should allow us to bypass one of the Vulgus' security measures. Your task is to protect the jammer while I work. Volgus closing in. Prepare for engagement. stage security system, you'll need a unique authentication sequence used by the Legion of Immortality. 
You need to collect samples from the Legion in good condition and put them in the supply box. These will be analyzed in Albion and they'll send us a sequence we can use for security authentication. That's the Volgus Barracks, which I was assigned to take out. They said if we didn't destroy their base, it would allow them to counterattack or something. But what a shame. I have no more rounds. Why don't you finish up for me while you're here? It was kind of boring, to be honest. I've destroyed the main passages. You only have to deal with the remaining troops. And hey, Colon Lackey, why don't you go ahead and send the operational relay when you get there as well? Oh, and make sure to credit me for it.
Volgus reinforcements detected. Internal facilities destroyed by Jericho. Reinforcements closing in. This is more than we expected. Without the advanced attack to reduce their forces, we'd be surrounded by them. Loading.
Setting in for a mark. Objective, neutralize the base's power grid. Deactivating the power is the most basic and surefire way to break through a security system. Now that the attack has begun, tech units that protect the generators will start appearing. These units have the fuse parts we need. Use the parts to burn out the generator circuits.
I'm loading. This is the last generator. Keep going, Descendant. Concentrate defensive forces at our facility. Send high level firepower units. The descendants must be stopped. Execute them. Power has been deactivated. Security system compromised. Tactical target achieved. Terminating mission relay. This is Sharon. All Volga security levels have been successfully deactivated. All units regroup at my position to investigate the Ironheart excavation site. Regroup? Huh. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll sit this one out, Sharon. What did you say? It seems as if all of you have forgotten, so I'll repeat myself one more time, since they're here too. It looks like it'll be a guide-related mission from this point on, which means I can't have anything to do with it, right? You're the one who told me I should be in a supporting role, Sharon, yeah? Since I can't connect to the guide. Report that to HQ however you like. It's not like they have a cell that can hold me, do they? <laughs> oh, pff, nah. Maybe I will sit in a cell and get some rest. It's been a while. Last time I was there, it was really fun. I'm not sure who blabbed about my secret operation, but had it been carried out, not only would we have the Iron Heart, but Corel's heart as well. I guess that's just my little walk down memory lane. Have fun with your imaginary friend. Peace! Sharon, give me the order and I will track him. Let him be. Jeremy's RK ability is teleportation. We have no way of catching him. Descendant, although it was not my intention, there seems to be a misunderstanding with Jeremy. I do not choose who I am linked with. The process follows strict directives woven into RK by the Ancestors. I have no knowledge of the details of these directives, nor am I capable of ignoring them. If I were able to alter those directives, would I have been able to resolve this misunderstanding with Jeremy? Could I ease Alpha's suspicions? The human mind is difficult to comprehend. It feels like a mass of powerful energy surrounded by a resilient defense mechanism, almost like an iron heart. I apologize for occupying your time before an important operation. 
I will focus on the emergency restoration protocol and remain on standby. I hope I can bring results that reflect the level of effort you have put into this operation. You'll meet the lead first, Descendant. Sharon's prosthesis has been damaged from excessive RK use. We'll join you as soon as we can. Don't worry. You've seen what they're capable of. I hope these repairs can be done quickly. So this is the Arnhardt excavation site that was documented in the Ancestors' data. As you must know, the Arnhards are mysterious entities that somehow make their way to Ingress. They were first discovered by the Architect. The Ironhearts were passed down to the Ancestors, my creators and the forebears of the Descendants. We don't know why the Ancestors hid all the Ironhearts. At this much is certain. I was created in order to lead you to them. After that, well, you'll come to that once we find you an Ironheart. Traces of Ironheart excavation. Ironheart microparticles confirmed. Initiating emergency restoration protocols to repair damaged systems. Descendant, we have retrieved Ironheart elements from the excavation site. Next, I must. Oh no. This wasn't just an excavation site. I need to interface with the Quantum Monolith, a data processor belonging to the ancestors. This device contains my restoration data, which can be copied using Ironheart microparticles. I can guide you there. Access the quantum monolith descendant. I must undergo authentication here first. I should still have access, as it was my system and memories that were damaged. Please keep the Vargas at bay while the authentication is in progress. Securing distance. <laughs>
Intruders accessing core asset. Approaching high risk levels. Initiating facility lockdown procedures. Descendant. Passageways are being blocked across the facility. I'll do my best to find a way out, but it won't be easy to maneuver. Please be careful. experiments conducted here using the Iron Hearts. Emergency restoration protocols would have been one of them.
descendant. Even though the Vulgus managed to access the data first, I have been able to restore one of my core functions through the emergency restoration protocol. I am finally able to detect the Ironheart. Let me explain this function and how to utilize it. My Ironheart detection system has a scanning function which uses Arcade to detect certain environmental factors. Within zones where Arcade can be detected, my system can track the Ironheart through its unique pulse, particles and energy. The tracking range and accuracy depends on where RK particles are distributed across Ingress. At present, considering the operational zones where descendants are deployed, approximately 35% of Ingress can be covered. I have just detected iron heart particles at Sharon's location, which is important. There is clearly something of interest at the Vulgus Munitions Factory. By using my detection system descendant, I can find traces of the Iron Heart through descendants who have been deployed throughout Ingress. However, the Vulgus called Eamon, the one who accessed the Quantum Monolith, gained a great deal of relevant information after repairing the Iron Heart. It seems the theft of the Ancestor's data was also led by Eamon. Even though he is a Vulgus, he possesses a high level of understanding of the Ancestor's technology. However, a Vulgus is only a Vulgus. They cannot defeat a direct descendant of the Ancestors. Use me to find the Iron Heart Descendant. I will assist humankind from this moment forward. Descendant, I've received the report on the results of the operation from Colon Special Forces. It seems the core functionality of the Guide has been restored. I have a related operation for you. Please return to HQ. The success of this operation will lead us to victory. Descendant, a quick word before the briefing. You seem to be a little too preoccupied with your AI friend at the moment. As your commander, I'm concerned that you're prioritizing the guide over the operation report. The guide is only a strategic tool. I tolerate her under the condition she does not cross a line, but I don't consider her to be one of us. She is, essentially, data, and data can be manipulated by external factors, or even by itself. We should never see it as being at the same level as those of us who have fought together against the enemy, and built our trust in each other in the process. Keep that in mind, and you'll be the best teammate anyone could ask for. That being said, this operation was expertly handled. I trust you to keep up the good fight, Descendant. As you may be aware, the Guide has detected Ironheart particles at Sharon's location. The location is inside the Vulgus military factory. Sharon and the Colon Special Forces have been conducting stealth reconnaissance. But time is running out. Once you've completed preparations, join Sharon and look for traces of the Ironheart. We've kept our end of the bargain. Now it's the Guide's turn to prove her worth. HQ, we appreciate the support. The operation will commence once reinforcements arrive. Deactivating active camouflage. Sorry, I wasn't able to help you at the excavation site. To be honest, I'm not sure if my functions, I mean, my skills, are at full capacity. It takes a huge amount of RK to maintain the Kuiper retroreflective active camouflage. It feels like my prosthesis and I are both slowly reaching our limits. But if the Ironheart is within our reach, I have to give it my all, even if it breaks me. The Guide said that Iron Heart Particles are the fundamental clues we need to track it. They're kind of like footprints that the Iron Heart leaves behind wherever it goes. I compared the location of these footprints to the recon intel. We should find more conclusive data as we continue to follow the traces. I'll send the details of the zone you'll need to cover to your receive. 
The remaining zones will be covered by colon operatives. The Volgus Munitions Factory. It truly is an ominous and horrifying place. Can you feel that? I can experience a variety of sensations through the Archie of Descendants. Including the phantom pain you feel. That's for me to deal with, Guide. Don't poke your nose in where it's not wanted. Once I've dealt with my personal target, then I'll ask you to remove the pain. You refer to the Vulgus you were pursuing. Descendant, this is a Vulgus logistics facility where raw materials and products needed for the munitions factory are distributed. As this is where the Ironheart particles were detected, we may find a lead in their distribution records. If you can connect your receive to a terminal, I'll try hacking into the distribution records.
substantial logistical activity discovered. A large volume of construction materials have been relocated from here to a suspect zone. At the same time, secret supplies have been transported from there back to here. This is definitely suspicious. I'll send this info to Sharon. I'm not sure why, but I'm sensing iron heart particles in the wastewater in this zone. Can you confirm? I've taken over operation of the environmental data collector we've installed. When we retrieve it, we'll be able to check the environmental parameters without coming into contact with contaminated wastewater. Will there be enough data for you to perform an analysis, Guide? You know our equipment can't detect iron heart traces. Once I complete analysis of the composition of the wastewater, I should know why I can detect iron heart particles. Then we'd better retrieve the data quickly. It will only be available for a limited amount of time. This wastewater is composed of Kuiper extracts and bulgous electrolytes. The iron heart particles are most likely bound between those two substances. 
That's why they were detected intact and not dispersed. If we can find the source of that wastewater, we could trace them more accurately. I have a place in mind. Our reconnaissance indicates this is a bulgous weapon processing facility. To analyze the particle flow, we need to take a closer look inside. The bulgous are disrupting the particle flow. Please eliminate the descendant. Signals from multiple Vulgus. Relentless. Where are all their forces coming from? Another military facility somewhere. It's not. Judging by the particle flow, the Ardenhauer came through here and was moved somewhere else. I'll keep analyzing. HQ. While investigating traces of the Ironheart, we've discovered a zone in the factory area that looks to have been recently expanded. Considering the circumstances, I think it's highly likely that there's an Ironheart inside. Requesting approval for further investigation. Approval granted, but proceed with extreme caution. A large assault ship has been spotted in the airspace above the area. Based on the ship's class, we think it's the same one that we saw Corel board. Either he's there in person, or something worthy of his attention is happening. We should be prepared for a challenging situation. We may need to deploy more descendants. Over and out. Sharon, do we have any tactical weapons that are capable of destroying the entire Vulcus industrial area? If the Iron Heart is here, we may be able to investigate after destroying the enemy's facilities. <laughs> it's an interesting idea, Guide. But if it were possible, we would have already done it. 
Unfortunately, we don't have the capabilities to create such a powerful weapon. The anti-air gun in the Albion mountain range is probably our heaviest hitter. That's why the Descendants and the Ironheart are humanity's last hope. Closing the dimensional wall to isolate Ingress from the Colossi and the Vulgus. That would be the ultimate tactical weapon. Anyway, we don't have time to chat. Let's head to the restricted zone. Descendant, I can detect both Iron Heart particles and its pulse in this zone. It keeps moving. If you and Sharon can widen the range of RK, I can obtain more accurate information. Please help me. Also, my system has been more inconvenienced than I expected. I believe that once it was restored, I would be able to locate the Iron Hearts wherever they may be in Ingress. However, it may be that my system has yet to be completely restored. As I was created for the Iron Heart, I assumed that my performance would not be this lackluster. In order to achieve my goal, our goal, my performance will need to improve. Let's think about that later, if we make it out alive. If the Volgas have a large assault ship, they'll soon be pouring into this place. Number 17 and I will operate in stealth mode. You stay sharp. large nuclear reactor, which is connected to this entire zone. By comparing the reactor's pulses with the Vulgar's biosignal, I can detect pulses from a wide area. Right up until it was deactivated, I could detect Iron Heart pulses. I'll attempt to trace that location.
Volgus bioengineering facility. Remember the wastewater treatment plant where we found iron heart particles? The wastewater pipes from there connect to this facility. We can figure out what these bastards have been up to when we take a look around. Look for a Volgus terminal to access it. Be careful, Descendant. I've identified multiple Volgus signals inside the facility. Expect random hostile encounters. We're too late. All experimental data has been deleted. Not all of it. There's a cache of records about the most recent experiments. It's not ideal, but I'll try to restore it as best I can. In the meantime, you and I might as well follow the iron heart particles. as a result. The pain would have been terrible. Not even a Volgus could have endured it. That's why there were iron heart particles in the waste chamber. Someone died. One of the experiment chambers is empty. Did one of them survive? The chances of something having survived this are close down. to zero percent. But I cannot be sure.
Shall we race? This facility seems to be a weapons engineering facility for the Vulgus ground forces. I'm detecting iron heart pulses coming from somewhere deep within the facility. Please go further in and investigate. If you're going to investigate in there, I'd like to request an additional mission. The Vulgus forces are preparing to remove the weapons and research from there. I was going to send number 17, but the size of the enemy force is... I need you to stop the supplies being removed and secure the weapons research data. Supplies have been destroyed. Now go secure the weapons research data.
Ryan's research data secured. Kuiper coding technology on Volga's bodies. So this was how they were enhancing the Legion of Immortality and Legion of Darkness units. Wait, this weapons data is... The weapons belong to the Volga's assassin unit that attacked you, Sharon. I... Never thought I'd discover it like this. For now, we should focus on searching for traces of the Iron Heart. Number 17, upload this information to the Colon database. Affirmative. that I cannot directly detect the energy, but I will know why when we find the origin of the pulses. the location where all of the Iron Heart traces converge. It is hidden within the facility of the Legion of Immortality. I can detect a continuous Iron Heart pulse and particles, as well as a small amount of energy from this place. And they seem to be moving. I recommend we investigate this place, Descendant. I'll need you to lend me your strength. Sharon, I will stay behind and retrieve the cache of Volga's experiment records. I'm sure they'll contain valuable information. I'll enter the inner facility first. Join me when you're ready. Stop. Most of the main passageways are now either blocked or destroyed. It appears the enemy intends to destroy the entire facility. Air vents, drainage pipes, maintenance ducts. Use any available alternative means of escape if you can. Sharon, I've restored some of the data from the Volgus experiment records. According to these records, the facility you're in is the private laboratory of General Amon of the Legion of Immortality. As it was iron heart traces which led us to this place, Corella and Amon might actually be there. 
It won't be an easy fight if they are. Sharon. Awaiting your transmission. The traces of the Iron Heart. Detected here. There. Um, never mind. I will let you know after I've performed further analysis. Uh, okay, guide. They've synchronized the alarms with the nuclear reactor self-destruct switch. What the hell are they thinking? They'd rather take everyone and everything with them than give up the Ironheart. I can modify the circuitry, find the alarms and destroy them. Stabilize the deactivated reactor. Turn on the coolers. I'll continue tracking the iron heart traces.
All units transmitting critical operation details. From the restored Volgus experiment records, I've reconstructed an audio recording that seems to have been made during the time of the experiments. Listen. These ships will become great shots from the Iron Heart! Rise, Black Warrior! Keep your lives for Clippa! Stand in the back of
Loading. information that it's hard to accept. This Alzarok is one thing, but Karel has ordered for the Ironheart to be inverted, whatever that means. Inversion. What could that be? on inverting the Ironheart data. If you do that, we won't be able to decipher the unidentified guide code. And Enough! The Ironheart data must be reconfigured in order to destroy the dimensional wall. I don't have time to think about that! You understand my vision now. 
don't you? Oh, 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 of course. I am only thinking of our research. I'm glad to hear that our objectives are aligned. <laughs> Initiate the data inversion. Klipov will engulf increase. The roars of the Vulgus will fill this land with fear. Descendant, I have the results of the operation from Sharon. Alpha is tied up with an emergency meeting with the Magisters. I have been ordered to brief you on the follow-up operation. Please make your way to HQ. It isn't easy. Excellent work, Descendant. This operation has yielded many results, both positive and negative. Firstly, all of HQ is encouraged by the possibilities presented by the Guide. Although we were unsuccessful in our retrieval of the Ironheart, thanks to the Guide's tracking function, we uncovered the Vulgus Restricted Zone and Alzerok. This proves the Guide's tracking system exists and is operational. However, the ingenuity that the Vulgus demonstrated with their use of the Ironheart was alarming. So much so, that the Magisters requested an emergency meeting with Alpha. In particular, the inversion of the Ironheart ordered by Corral is something we must understand, no matter the cost. From this point forward, HQ plans to adopt the Guide's tracking functionality and the various other information sources they offer as official operational elements. The Descendants will soon be deployed throughout Ingress. Use the Guide to track the Ironheart and proceed with the mission to investigate the Inversion Procedure. Humanity's full-scale counterattack has officially begun. However, I know you have just completed a difficult mission. Until the official deployment order is given, please go ahead with whatever preparations you need to make. The Magisters have promised their full commitment to support research efforts, so this is the perfect opportunity to request anything you need from Anais. Before you go, Descendant, I have a personal request. Can you retrieve the Alzerog autopsy report from Jeremy? The report was intended for delivery to the Magisters, Jeremy requested a brief look at it, and I haven't heard from him since. I understand things are strained between you and Jeremy due to the recent operation, but I hope you'll do this anyway. Descendant, just in case, I hope you're not disappointed that Jeremy wasn't punished. I actually saw Alpha slap Jeremy earlier. No one enjoys seeing their superior do something like that but I believe it was a more appropriate punishment than a court-martial. I'm sure that Jeremy has also learned his lesson. Do you think you're the only ones worried about Albion? What the? You're still alive? I was just reading the report on Alzerok and thinking, wouldn't it be great if he, you know, killed you? Anyway, looks like he got to experience something interesting at least. A Vulgus redesigned by the Ironheart. Wow. Now, that's an area that fascinates me. If I knew you'd be seeing that, I would have stuck with the operation instead of dropping out. And I wouldn't have been slapped by Alpha. <laughs> anyway, why are you here? I'm in a bad enough mood already after Sharon and her minion drop by to give me a piece of their minds? What? Nell wants the report? Ah, so you're her gopher. You really are something. You can take it and buzz off. You probably don't have time to argue with me anyway. Sharon mentioned earlier that the guide 
isn't in the best shape. All these so-called grown-ups having fun with their imaginary friend. Oh, get lost! You're annoying me! we returned to Albion, I leapt between the archae of different descendants in order to find Arnhart traces. I discovered traces in the desert and forest areas, and at that moment, I felt great pain. In human terms, it felt like my skin was peeling off and my flesh was melting. Descendant, I suspect this phenomenon is caused by an inversion process. If Corel and Eamon had enough time after moving the Iron Heart, they may have managed to perform it. However, aside from this pain, I was unable to obtain any further information. For the properties of the Iron Heart to change, a tremendous amount of energy would have to be released. Void dimension link detected. Colossus approaching. I repeat, void dimension link detected. Colossus approaching. Descendant, a Colossus has appeared. This Colossus? Is it merely coincidence? Can this truly be unrelated to the Iron Heart inversion? The ancestors always removed the environmental value of chance from all variables. They believed all things had a cause and an effect. My thoughts are all muddled. It would be best to focus on the Colossus for now, Descendant. As for the inversion, I will investigate. Classification type, stunning beauty. All descendants in Albion, prepare for an intercept battle. <laughs> They're arriving on the daily! And not just any Colossus, but stunning beauty? Somebody buy Alpha a new pen? He's gonna have to write so many letters of condolences today. Alpha let him off with just a slap in the face. He should have gone after his neck. I don't disagree. Do you need information about the Colossi? Descendants, the Colossi are discerning ingress through an incomprehensible pattern. Although the expected time of arrival for the Colossus is unknown, the fact that a stunning beauty is drawn here alarms me. Stunning beauty is a Colossus which is insensitive to energy. Even during the apocalypse, only a few of them are recorded to have appeared in ingress. But now, suddenly, one is making its way to Ingress. This is not a situation to be taken lightly. Descendant, I'll send you to the Void Dimension once you have finished battle preparations. I hope the intercept is successful. The space-time fabric of the Void is extremely illogical. Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think? Ask me anything about modules.
Welcome to the Marshal's Lab. Now what do you want? Go on, I'm waiting. I am analyzing the Boyd Paradox.
Are you ready to undertake a void intercept battle assignment? Descendant, you have been successful. We live in uncertain times, but thankfully the skills of the Descendants remain stable and unchanged. Even if using the word stable in our current situation is embarrassingly ironic. The Dimensional Ball is currently in the worst state it has ever been. Before now, it was almost unheard of for an energy-insensitive colossus like Stunning Beauty to be able to find its way here. We must find the Iron Heart and connect it to the Prime Hands as soon as possible. Closing the Dimensional Wall is the only way we can achieve true victory over the Colossi. I suppose everyone thinks the Dimensional Wall is the only answer. Are you saying it isn't? I cannot say whether it is or not. As we do not have an Iron Heart, nothing can be proven. You think too much. We should find a heart and prove it then. I'm pretty sure there's one in Vespers. Traces from another Iron Heart have been discovered in a forest in Vespers. I've already spoken with HQ. Let's discuss operation strategies. Come with me.